guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather here. My bullet points first off. When I looked at the overall totals um, today, they're down a notch from most places. Even the bullseyes in the Pacific Northwest are down just a little bit. Um, and looking down the road, there's a larger storm system that will come through on 2-5 and kind of wrangle all the moisture, move it into the interior Rockies. That one's still intact, but the one for 2-8, 2-9, 2-10, maybe 2-9, 2-10 is, is definitely looking weaker and a little more washed out as it has to fight some high-pressure ridging. And then there's probably another storm system down the road at about 2-14, 2-13, 2-14, somewhere right in there. So that's kind of the big overview at this point. Let me show you what I'm seeing here. So this is uh, visible, and boy, is it beautiful. You can see the low right here, another one behind it, and a third low here. So the lows are stacked up. Um, and I mentioned three, and there are three right there. Um, let me just kind of show you the track of these. And it's, re it's still looking good for the Pacific Northwest and B.C. I mean, we're still talking three, four feet of snow. But, you know, earlier in the week, it looked like those numbers might actually be quite a bit bigger, maybe five, six feet. I don't think that's going to be the case now. But the flow is still going to be good. Um, I wrote about it this morning. Snow forecast through 212. ChrisTomer.com. Take a look at it. It's my blog. Um, there's the setup. We talked about that. Let me show you the jet here full. So this is 212, and um, you can, you'll notice big trough, big dip in the jet, pretty amplified. So by the time we get to 213, 214, that storm system will be moving into the interior Rockies, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and so on. Um, so that's like the third storm in the series, uh, but that's 212. Let me take you back here and show you the forecast. The future radar and satellite. All right, here's Saturday morning, quiet through the four corners. Um, look at that, nice storm system, 2-5, hits the Sierra, then moves into the interior, and that storm's still looking okay. But then after that, now we're just kind of waiting. Here comes the next storm system, but by the time it moves into the interior, there it is on late on 2-8, it's going to hit um, some drier air and fight the ridging, so I don't have as big of totals for Wyoming, Utah, or Colorado, or Montana for that matter. Um, but I'll show you that uh, coming up here. And I have the totals on my website. Um, I do mention that just about all of the snow in Colorado occurs late 2.5 into 2.6 with that storm system because the storm down the road, 2.9, 2.10 is looking much weaker. And actually the same holds true in this update for the Wasatch. Most of the snow comes in the afternoon, 2.5 for the Wasatch into 2.6. So if you're looking at timing info right there, let me show you my numbers. All right, so this is 2-3, um, basically today through 2-5. The biggest numbers are in the Pacific Northwest, running down the coast into the Sierra. Because most of the snow in the Sierra comes very hard and fast. Late on 2-4 into the early morning on 2-5, it's all going to come in very fast. All right, so that's uh, the first phase. Here's phase 2, 2-6 two, through 2-12. Again, most of this, even in the interior, happens... Um, on 2526, maybe early 27. But the numbers in the Tetons, I brought those down a little bit. Wasatch, they've come down 8 to 12, 6 to 12, something like that, 6 to 14. Um, in Colorado, 4 to 8 mainly for most of the mountain zones. Now, in the Pacific Northwest, I mean, when you add up everything, um, let me see if I have, yep, I have it in. Here's my specialty map. So the grand total map, 2-3 through 2-12. Um, looking at about 4 feet for Baker, 3 to 4 feet for Stevens to Whistler. Uh, Rainier obviously gets a lot, 4 feet in excess of 4 feet. Um, still some blow-off expected into Revelstoke and Kicking Horse and Red Mountain, probably a foot in most of those areas. But that's a grand total over the course of like 9 days. Um, but yeah, reflecting back on some of the uh, totals that I was looking at for, you know, three days ago, this area looked like it might exceed 50, 60 inches, but not now, going with these numbers. All right, let me show you what it looks like in the northeast through 212. Nothing big, um, very similar in the last couple of days with these updates, anywhere from 2 to 5 inches with uh, basically two different clippers running through the northeast. So there you go, guys. Always appreciate you tuning in here for this uh, afternoon uh, update. And have a great weekend. Enjoy it, and I'll talk to you later.